Joining us here in our studio this morning is Jack Gilmore with Jack Allen's Kitchen. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for being here. If it's 102 and it's September, it's football season. Right. So we're going to tailgate today at the stadium, and we're going to cook seafood fried rice because we're playing rice, and hopefully we can beat them. <laughs> but we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to do a regular fried rice, and you can add any ingredient you want. So we don't sell it at the restaurant, but we're going to do it at tailgating today. Oh, okay, great. So, so tailgaters out there, pay attention. This may yeah, be a great dish Yeah, and if you want to come today. to the tailgating, we'll be on the south side of the stadium. But we start off with some local pork belly from Richardson Farm. you got to have some pork in your fried rice. So start off with that. And this is a walk. This is what, I mean, this is going to take three minutes max if you get a really hot. And I don't want to smoke it up too much in here. So just a nice, nice sear. So you got the pork belly going. We're going to stir fry it. You smell that? Yeah, it smells That's great. That's good. Yeah. And then every fried rice has to have an egg in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least one egg. So we're going to crack an egg. This is a great egg from a local farm called Vital Farms. So you smell that again? That smells excellent. Now you were saying it's important to have all these ingredients local, right? Well, we, we believe in buying local and we believe in taking care of the farmers and they, they really work hard. I'll leave here and go right to the farmer's market and buy a bunch of stuff. And uh, we really believe in staying local, as local as you can. It's tough out there right now with yeah. no rain. Wow. So this is a good way to get rid of all of your leftovers. This is where <laughs> stir-fried rice came from. So we're going to throw some peppers and onions in there. And you gotta, you got to have cooked rice already. So it's going to be leftover rice from last night. So throw a little rice That'll in there. That'll work. Just leftover rice? Just leftover rice. All Don't, right. This is about all about leftovers. And then what we're going to do is finish it off with some really golf, uh, good golf shrimp that's really sweet and some really nice golf crab that's also really sweet. So now you're looking at peppers and onions, sweet peppers, great shrimp and crab, rice, and then where it gets crispy is from the heat and the egg, and then we're going to finish it off with some nice seasoning and a little bit of uh, sesame oil. So okay. got some great sesame oil. Now, a lot of people might wonder, how long do you leave this on the on This the is going to be done, the shrimp, once the shrimp hits it, two minutes. Okay. Two minutes. So this is really, really good. And what we'll do is we'll, I have a huge walk, and we'll go to the tailgating, and we'll, I'll probably cook enough fried rice for four or five hundred people today. Do you look for it to brown a little bit? I want it to brown. It's definitely going to brown. It's, it's on that way right now. Okay. So you see that brownness coming from the egg? Oh, it smells great. And the crispiness, and then we're going to hit it with a little sesame seed, a little bit of ginger, pepper, salt. And things like that. What a great tailgating dish. Thank you very this much. This could be great. Talk to me a little bit real quickly about this dessert well, that you have at the restaurant. I'll tell you, we have the best pastry chef in town. Her name is Dee Dee, and she comes up with some incredible things. This is a toffee crusted banana cream pie with homemade chocolate sauce and homemade caramel sauce, whipped cream, banana cream pie. You've got to have oh, some of that. Oh, that is incredible. You've got to have some of that. There's only Let's one way to that. eat yeah. at Jack Allen's. You've got to start off with great appetizers and end up with a great dessert. Oh, that is So delicious. we're almost there. This is what a walk is for. Just start flipping around. Well, that's fantastic. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is, this is probably enough for you and Sean. Yeah, we'll, de <laughs> we'll definitely finish that up. <laughs> Excellent. Looks that great. That look good? Thank you very much for coming in here and showing well, thanks us Thanks for having morning. us. That was so quick and easy. It was. I mean, it, this is my favorite time of the year. And if you want to come tailgate anywhere on the south side at Robert Dedman and Red River. And uh, we kind of like to say thanks to the customers that come in. And when they go to the game, come on in and have some food. What a great idea. Jack Gilmore, thanks so much thanks for, for coming having in us. this morning with Jack Allen's Kitchen. Thanks for having us.